The new PAN 1000 AD is the top model among the clamp meters of PAN control. It measures up to 1000 amps AC and DC. Its special highlights are the illuminated color display with indication of ambient temperature, true RMS measurement also for non-sinusoidal voltages and currents, maximum and minimum hold function, inrush current, this is the current peak after switching on an electric motor, non-contact voltage test with a sensor in the tip, single pole phase test, an LED flashlight to illuminate the spot of measurement. Now we are going to measure current inside the switch cabinet. When the current to be measured is unknown, the best thing is to start with the highest range, which is 1000 amp. Switching to AC measurement, and the display remains at 0 amps. So we switch to the next smaller range, change to AC measurement again, now a current of 5.2 amps is displayed. At the neutral conductor we measure the same current. With the hold button we can freeze the display and see the reading also after ending the measurement. To distinguish the phase from the neutral conductor there is the non-contact voltage test. At the phase conductor a lamp and a beeping light indicate the presence of voltage. At the neutral conductor the lamp remains dark and the device remains silent. Now we want to measure the power consumption of a vacuum cleaner. The display remains at zero even when the vacuum cleaner is running because the current in the phase conductor flows in the opposite direction of the current in the neutral conductor so the two magnetic fields of the two conductors neutralize each other. The solution is to measure the current directly at the circuit breaker, which is connected to the power outlet. About 5.3 amps. With the inrush current function, we can also measure the initial peak after switching on the vacuum cleaner. And this is almost 18 amps for a short moment. Now we measure the electric power consumption in a car. We switch the clamp meter to the 60 to 600 amps DC range, reset the display with a zero button and encircle both cables which are connected to the plus pole of the battery with a clamp. Also with the ignition of the car switched off we see a quiescent current of 0.66 amps. After switching on the ignition, the current rises to about 17 to 18 amps. After starting the engine, the overload indication appears in the display shortly and now the minus in the display shows that the current is flowing in the opposite direction and the battery is being charged with a current of about 18 to 19 amps. Now we want to measure the maximum current while starting the engine. For this we switch the clamp meter into the highest range of 1000 amps. The display shows already zero and encircle both cables connected to the plus pole of the battery with a clamp meter. We see a quiescent current of about 1 amp. By activating the max min button the highest value and the lowest value will be stored automatically. After switching on the ignition, the current rises again up to about 17 amps. After starting the engine, we can now see a maximum current of 336 amps. This value is displayed until the min max button is being pressed again. The minimum value indicates the highest charging current of the battery.